guys, welcome back for another video. And today things are a little scattered and we kind of got a little bit of a late start, but I'm going to show you a little bit about what we've gotten into. So the rear bumper that came with these other trucks were as trash as the one that I got. So I picked this up. This is a 2014 uh, style bumper that has a kit that comes with, like it was new in a box. Uh, it actually bolts to these frames. So it's kind of neat, kind of modernized the truck a little bit. This, it was cheaper, kind of made out of Chinesium probably. Anyway, um, uh, we're going to actually focus today on the bed liner, uh, getting it sprayed into the bed, getting the bed liner on the bottom of the cab and the fenders, and then down here as well. So um, we're going to get on that, and um, I think I have got all of the big parts and stuff like that I need. I picked up a uh, used lift kit today, uh, bought a used one, one is cheaper, two, because of the back not needing a lift kit because of the axle diameter size and the rear leaf springs, I just needed the front pieces. Well, those are the most expensive pieces, but, um, it, I had to do a lot of reading. So if I bought a four inch kit, I'd have had to use the whole thing and that would have maxed out the factory torsion bars and stuff like that. But if I bought a six, then I could actually leave the torsion bars where they're at on the stock keys, have a better ride. And all that does is change the knuckle placement so that my, uh, sway bars, uh, the, the, uh, uh, axles and all that stuff would have the, all of their factory angle and I got it really cheap too. So, uh, it just needs to be cleaned up, but we're no stranger to that. Uh, so saved, saved a lot of money if I'm honest. So, uh, but I'll be pulling that out and cleaning that up here sometime soon. But, uh, anyway, so this is about the height of the uh, suspension and then I got a three inch body lift to put on this so the bed's gonna go up another three inches so like we're I mean we're working away but we're getting close to that that, that ending goal so uh, I'm gonna shove forward here and getting this bed done that is the point of today's video and uh, getting all this stuff done so get this done and sand it good up and then you know we're we're ready to mask off and, and set up for primer so uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been uh, kind of interesting to see what videos have done okay and what videos have gotten more views or less views or whatever. Um, and the last couple were just like odd jobs. I knew they wouldn't really be very interesting. So uh, maybe this one's a little bit more interesting. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to get to work, get sanding and cleaning up on the inside of that bed. And I'll get you guys updated soon. All right, guys, so we went ahead and got everything sanded, looking pretty good. We just need to rinse it out and uh, put some soap on it, get all this stuff out of here. There's actually stuff along the edge of the bed here. Get that stuff out. A couple of rust spots we got to take care of, which is just, we're going to put a little uh, sandblasting on it, I think. But uh, yeah, we'll be wiping this out, cleaning this out, and shooting it with primer. Alright guys, so it's been a little bit since that last clip and uh, 
Uh, it's actually been like five days now. So uh, we had things over the weekend, Father's Day roll up and all this stuff. So we left off with hosed and cleaning out the, the back of the bed. I know that's just riveting entertainment. But um, we went ahead and taped it over uh, so it should remain dust free. Uh, there's, there's also an experiment. This is a pretty dusty place. And um, you can see it across there. It's five days. Um, yeah, it's it's a dusty place uh, out here. So I'm trying to find a way to maybe mitigate some of that dust. So I've got a big helper outside right now. It's actually raining. It's really actually, to me, I think it's a good thing for what I've got to do out here because all these fields are out here and uh, the wind you know, blows thousands of miles an hour out here it seems like it's constant it's flat and and it just the breeze just constant out here so uh it's always blowing dust around now where the rain comes in to be an aid as it knocks all that dust down also adds in one other uh problem and a leaky roof i've said stuff about that before so uh it's kind of the reason why we have plastic on the roof so when we go to paint in here we'll put the plastic up on the roof and and uh, protect everything from that but um this is cleaned out i'm gonna double check and make sure it's clean i'm gonna mask it off and uh all that stuff get it ready for a uh, bed liner to be put in so i've kind of got to reorganize everything because i was just gonna pull um where's that here i was just gonna pull the bed in front of the door and then leave a fan there and push out the the fumes but uh, it's raining in and um, I don't want to get any rain or moisture on the bed as I'm painting it so I think I'm going to shove some stuff up and out of the way move the front end this way here that way I can pull the whole unit away from the uh, water wet dampness so anyway I'm gonna get going on that and go right into shooting this stuff uh, i can uh I'll actually i'll tell you what i'm gonna do a little bit of a breakdown of what i'm using right when i get to that point so uh yeah i'll see you guys shortly Alright guys, so if you made it this far through the video, now is the time to uh, talk about this. Uh, Raptor Tough uh, Protective Coating. I got this off Amazon, let's be real. Uh, but it's got really, really good reviews. And I left one of those reviews like three years ago uh, when I did all of my uh, suspension parts and stuff like that for the Trans Am. So, um, I haven't driven the Trans Am much, uh, but like over time it has held up. It has done a very, very good job. So I uh, went right back to it. It's actually the exact same box and everything like that. So, uh, but yeah, I got this bed here taped off a lot like uh, this one here, uh, just around the uh, tailgate and the back wall is all we're gonna do. I am gonna do the top rail of the, uh, the bed back there, but I didn't wanna get any, uh, bed liner down here uh, up on here but the rest of it is going to get it so uh, it comes with multiple containers and you can get this in black or tintable and then you can put any kind of tent at all it doesn't matter I put red tent uh, which was a powder and the stuff I put on the Trans Am so you get four of them uh, just a little cup, some hardener, 
and the gun to spray it all with. I mean, it all is a full on kit. All you need is an adapter for your air hose. And this guy is super important. If you go back and look um, several videos ago, there's a video where I didn't install this because I didn't know what it was for. Um, the box does not come with directions except for right here. And I threw the box away. So uh, I had to figure that out. But uh, this goes down into here, screws into the bottom of this, and these are your containers. So it's kind of really neat that way, less space, you don't have to worry about transferring this stuff over into another thing. But uh, yeah, I just got black, and it's already black, so you can't really tell, but it's already black. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to start shooting this stuff, getting the hardener mixed in, and all that stuff and uh, start applying it. All right guys, so as you've seen, we got the primer in the bed looking really, really good. I kind of want to show you what I used. Uh, this is mirrored, I'll flip this around, but uh, it's a self-etching primer. Uh, the kit actually comes with one can, and only one can of acid etch primer. You need like four of these, and they're like $14 a piece. This is like $7 a piece, and it's gonna work just as fine. So. Uh, now we're just letting this kind of flash off a little bit and then time to lay the lining. guys so I went ahead and got all of the bed liner sprayed and I actually had to when I rotated bottles I actually had to save what was in the other bottles and kind of come back uh, and pour the last or pour the extra what I had left over in the other bag bottles into that last bottle so that I could get done what I needed to get done but man that looks good I think it looks very very good we had to go back at the end and like touch some stuff up but uh yeah, it, it looks a little patchy. I think it's because the way it's drying in different layers and what have you, but uh, taping it off got us a nice clean line through there. And as I was saying earlier, now you can kind of understand, I put the texture there on uh, the bottom. 
and then we'll prime over top of that and uh, paint blue right over top of that and uh, it'll give us a little bit of um, well it'll just save it from getting up into like rock chips getting up into the metal so we got it there and then the line transfers up to here and then we got it just here on the bottom of this fender and here as well and then we'll go around and it's all down the cab the length of the cab here just uh, helps out again with rock chips and stuff like that so <clears throat> super happy as to how it all turned out so um, I definitely recommend this stuff this is the second time I've used it went on flawlessly used flawlessly turned out spectacular so I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one